Hello guys and welcome to another episode. It's a brand new day. As you can see I've added a couple of more glowstone aggregators. Got me producing out some glowstone. But today I'm going to be working on my brand new mob spawning uh, mob, sp mob grinder. That ain't right. Okay, that's why that doesn't look right. I don't know why it didn't look right. Let's just go ahead and fix it. There we go. And I'm doing it out of wood because it's a very, very inexpensive resource. Alright, so... I'm going to extend this out. See, it's one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay. One more. And then we're gonna build a box. We build this fairly large. It's ninety percent of the stuff I get from this I can use towards making diamonds. Especially gunpowder. Okay, so I'm going to skip. I'm going to be right back. I want to finish building this platform. Okay, and welcome back. As you can see, I have finished the almost finished the inside of it I've left one left undone so I can show you how to do it you can make this just about any size and it'll work you can even have more pads if you want I just wanted four just because I mean anything above that you'll get ridiculous amounts of stuff and plus I'm trying to conserve as much resources as possible had an issue on the roof with mob spawning so one of the ways that I counteracted it was by placing um, half slab wooden half slabs on top of it and you can hardly even tell that you know their half slab half slabs are up there I mean you'd be standing on it and not even notice it and it'll keep mobs off of it I want to make it too high anyway. There we Alrighty, almost done. Hello guys and welcome back. 
as you can see I have pretty much finished the mob spawner. I'm just giving it a little bit of a couple of touch ups as well as explaining how this will, how this is going to work out I have uh, there's four channels through here or canals or however you want to call them four canals like this and see two, three, six. Okay, I think I can still work with it if anything I can make it, this will make it slow down a little bit won't be as fast paced cause um, I was doing the skyblock challenge, I was messing around with it and the mob spawner I made is like ridiculous. It just sit there and just pours it mobs uh, items out of it. I just made a falling one though. This one's gonna have a lava blade. And I'll show you how to set that up in a moment. I'm gonna do that right before I leave. I had to place one bucket of lava. And I'll place all the water first. How much wood do I have left? Okay, I got plenty. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm in a ship. I guess just the, this, this seeing all the wooden planks just makes you feel like you're in a ship. And I might turn it into that. Well, that'd be interesting. Okay, let's see. I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah, I need to place the water. Stops about right there. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more signs real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm um, back. Oh, I like to look at that water, it just it looks cool. Let's go ahead. Whoops, not right there. Right there. Go ahead and place that there. What I want to do is place a sign here and a sign there. Sign here, sign here, and then whenever we get to it, it'll be a sign there and a sign there. Okay. I think this might be enough signs. I think I might have to go back and get some more. Actually, I'm kind of thinking I'm pretty sure of it. Because I have to have signs for through, through here, too. I think, yeah. Oh, no, I'm just, yeah, I might have to have signs. Could just put back my wood because I don't need it no more, I guess. Just to make it easier. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. And I'll just leave that gap there, because like I said, it'll slow it down. Hey, how about this makeup? A workbench. Turn this into some sticks. leave those there for right now. And I think it'll be about right. No, I was gonna leave a gap right there. Yeah, I need one right here. And right here. The reason why you put signs here 
Just keep the water we're placing here from back flowing into it. That way it'll just... Oh yeah, I miscounted. Hmm. It looks like I set that up on purpose, don't it? But that was total accident. Sign. Sign. See, I don't know exactly how many more buckets I'm going to need. This is going to be the collection area. So I wanted to remove that, remove that. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure from right here, it should flow all the way to right there. There we go. Gotta fight these rush rapid water. Oh, I should have lit that up. But it should be okay for right now. Oops. There we go. Sign. Sign. Yeah, at least two more signs. Yeah. And perfect. Hmm, something tells me there's going to be a dead spot right here. Yeah, and their items are just going to fall right there. Hmm. Alright, I have a fix for this. I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and I fixed the little problem with the mob spawner. I had to drop it down a level, that way the mobs can still die and their loot can fall into the water and be pushed away. Alright, so now we gotta place the lava. Hopefully this doesn't kill us. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, broke. Take it right there. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to figure this out. I think this is going to turn into cobblestone. Yeah. I'm trying to find what's going on. That's no good. Put a sign there to make a dead spot in the water here.
Let's try to do this. Yeah, I think that'll work. I just remember mobs jump when they hit water, so they'll just be like, oh. Okay. That's my original idea. Work the way out. Up lava, pick up lava. I still gotta throw up a couple more signs. There. And there. Doing a lot of this from like halfway memory, because I've never made one like this before. Well, this is something new for me to try to build. There we go. See what happens. Come on, come on. Apparently something's on fire. Oh god. Fire spread supposed to be on, off. <sighs> Hello, guys, and welcome back to another exciting adventure. Today I'm going to show off the mob spawner I finished. I finished it off and I had to get another mod so that I could get the ender pearls without the endermen dying halfway through it so I can separate out the uh, bones and rotten flesh. It is called uh, Conveyor Belts by Mighty Pork. And I also built me a um, cobblestone generator. I might need a pick. I'm going to put up some of this stuff. I want to go to the right one. I'm going to use this. Iron pick here. And here we go with the cobblestone generator. It's not very pretty to look at, but I'll fix it up later. And there's a zombie in there. Oh well, it'll be fine. There it goes. One moves just slightly faster than the other one. 
have them all built off of one five clock. Just for more compactiveness. And you can just sit here and chip away at it. And then once you get that one chipped all the way down. And in a later episode I'm going to show you how to make them. But for now I'm just going to show you what I did. Now all these repeaters are just for is for timing. That's all they're used for is timing. So that the uh, lava has enough time to turn into uh, cobblestone. Now the obsidian I'd put up here to keep it from it whenever it builds build, is built all the way out, it won't build it up. It'll just continuously try to build outward. When it can't, it'll just completely stop. I think the zombies spawn over here. Or over here. I think I think it's more likely over here. Somewhere. Let's get out of here. Oops. But the main reason I'm doing this episode is the fact I finally have enough to uh, enough diamonds to make my dark matter furnace that I've been eagerly wanting to make. I bet you're wondering why does he make why does he making a dark matter furnace first? Why doesn't he make like a dark matter axe or <clears throat> something that'll be you know of some quick use? Because in my opinion, in the long run. The dark matter furnace has showed me me to be better than in than the than the pickaxes. I'm gonna show you how to make some dark matter here. Let's see, get some of this. And in the next episode, I'm gonna be building a um, glowstone factory. It won't be automatic or not. It'll still all be manual. But it'll work. Alright, that'll be enough for right now. Let's see. It ain't going to be in there. It's going to be in here. Here. See, actually, I don't think I'll need this much glowstone. And I'll need some more buckets of lava. With the next piece of dark... With the next three pieces of dark matter, I plan on making a uh, lava amulet thing. Alright, take a bucket of lava, some coal, and some glowstone, and you get alchemical coal. You can put up to three in here. Oops. We won't actually need too much. Of that. Let's see. And you take and convert. Wait, no, that ain't right. I think as most you can make is two at one time. Let's see how it comes out. There we go. You got six Mobius fuel. I'm gonna throw that right there. Go and get some more lava. Like I said, this is very tedious without um, that lava amulet, which is why I want to make it. I think you can use Mobius fuel as fuel for a dark matter furnace. I can't remember or not. 
But this is the uh, easiest way to just go ahead and get enough to where you can stack up three. That way you're not using a bucket of lava just to make two. Or just, yeah, just to make one. Hopefully I'll have enough to make four, I can get enough to make four pieces of dark matter. I don't remember if I showed this or not, but uh, how to make lava buckets. There you go, lava buckets. Redstone and coal or charcoal. And since we're here, you can't get coal. Well, you can, but I wouldn't empty bucket, but it'll be all right. Here's my. Whatchamacallit? Oh, there it is. I swear I'm blind. Yeah, one more stack of coal. And since you basically already know how to, now you know how to make a chemical coal and turn it into Mobius fuel, I'm just going to skip ahead. Because this will take a while. I need... Two. No, I don't. I think that's actually enough. I lied. That's enough for five. I think that's enough. Okay. We can pick that up. We can't pick that up yet. Oh, I already have my diamond. Actually, I think I miscounted on how much diamond I need. I forgot that it's nine instead of eight blocks. But it's okay, I got plenty of diamond to spare. Oops, I need that, I need this up here. The next, uh, after I bank the, uh, the, um, um, lava thing, I will be making, uh, a dark matter locust. Which, that'll take forever to make. But once you make that, you can make just about anything relatively quickly. And then after that, I'm going to get a watch of ever flowing time, and then I'll start working on the Kalen Star Spheres. Alright, see, I got a piece of dark matter here. You can either have it arranged this way, or you can. Whoops. Wait. I don't remember exactly how how it's arranged. I think it's this way. Or you can have it, you just replace, you can have it anyway as long as they're not touching. And you have a piece of dark matter. Our first piece. And hopefully not our last. There we go. Four dark matter. Throw some of this excess junk in here for a second. And get my furnaces. Uh, I remember how to make it. I think it's... Like that. Yep. Takes up four furnaces from four dark matter. 
the Philosopher's Stone in the middle. And we have our Dark Matter first. We'll throw it over here. Throw the rest of this glowstone in here. And put up the rest of my stuff that I don't need. And if you're wondering why I'm gonna make such a big fuss over dark matter or a dark matter furnace, this is why I like a dark matter furnace. You see that smelting time, and you can also just throw in enough to smelt it for a while. You can also take. Miscounted one over one. You can take, throw down a chest in front of it. And whenever a stack gets full, see so how threw it in there by itself? It'll throw it in there. And that's what the way it is with, I think, just about everything that comes with uh, equivalent exchange. And I think that's about it for this episode. I don't have anything really else planned for right now. And I'm sorry about the big delay in videos. I've just been busy doing some other things. But, uh... Oh, one more thing I need to show you. I don't know if you could see it at night. I know you can see it during the day. Uh, well, that was dumb of me. I don't think you can see it. Anyway, off in that direction, away, away. I noticed this when I was building this. You can see the um, where the land is, and I'm like, that's too close for right now. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into MC Edit and delete more chunks around it. Well, not delete the chunk, but delete the uh, area around it. <laughs> Ow. delete all the stuff there because I want to expand more but I mean it's literally maybe two or three hundred blocks away and I want it to be farther away I want it to feel like a challenge to get there by just building so just building like a big bridge I'll probably build a really nice bridge to it but I'm not talking about just a straight bridge to it and then just you know be able to Harvest all the resources. Of it. I just want to go there just to be, just to show that I, just to show that I've built up large enough that I can get there. Because I mean, it would take no time for me to get a Kaolin Star Sphere if I could get to land. Because all you really need is a destruction catalyst and some uh, a huge glowstone factory and. Voila, you can just sit there and just... I could mine it all to death, but that's just no fun, in my opinion, with this mod. I mean, if you want to get good at using this mod, downloading the, the uh, single block equivalent exchange, or even the sky course for it. I don't know if they come out with anything yet, else yet, but I'll check their website. And uh, that's it for this episode. And, I enjoy you watching my videos, and if you have any questions or comment, feel free to ask. And uh, 
I'll see y'all next video.